Take some pictures of yourself editing the video. Take pictures of yourself filming the What? I I don't hear you. I don't I don't hear you. Oh, I don't hear him because his microphone went out. But he just kept talking and talking and talking. Look at this. He just kept talking and talking and talking. And he thinks that he's being picked up by a microphone. But he's not. But you say, well, look at that. He's got a microphone right next to him. How could he not be getting picked up by the microphone? Well, something happened. This is why you should always have a backup microphone. Oh, hang on a minute. Yep. Let's put that backup microphone on. What I did not have in the video. What you want to do, you want to hook it up to your iPhone or a smartphone. Make sure you have that backup recording. That way, especially if you're recording directly to a uh, computer, like I am right now, and you're watching me, you, this is how long I went. The, the, it, was, wasn't, it wasn't that long necessarily. It was about seven and a half minutes, and it was about the five and a half minute mark or something. I think it cut out, but I just kept going and going and going and going and did not know this whole time that the microphone had cut out. That's not the first time that has happened to me. That has happened to me numerous times. Uh, it could be the system resources. It could be because OBS, the software that I use, uh, a lot of times does get glitchy. And the problem is after a long time, you get used to, well, I've recorded this many videos. It's never happened again. And so you forget about it and you don't do the whole backup microphone thing. But it does definitely come in handy to have that backup audio. That way, if your main audio source goes out, you've got that backup audio ready to go. Uh, now, my lavalier, this is what you want to use. You want to use something like a lavalier microphone. You might have a good studio. Oh, it's just uh, like a studio mic right here. This is the Blue Yeti that I use, and I think it works fine. Uh, there are other more expensive ones that are even better quality, of course, but I think that's a, that's a very good entry-level microphone that, that works very well. And then uh, you just get a basic lavalier microphone like this, hook it up to your smartphone, open up uh, to the voice memo and iPhone, and hit record. And uh, uh, my lavalier actually went out, so this is just a prop right now. <laughs> I've gotta get something new, and I'm gonna put a link in the description to something that is something that I'm looking at getting, is the Tascam, uh, a Tascam device. It looks pretty good, and um, you might consider it as well. I don't have those screenshots ready. I was supposed to have those ready, but uh, I was gonna show you what it looked like. Anyways, it's something that a lot of YouTubers recommend. And so for that reason, I'll just have a link there, make it easier for you if you're looking to make a purchase. But uh, the other thing I was gonna say is when you start, you wanna make sure so that you can sync the audio up in case the microphone does go out. Uh, a very easy way to do that is to just clap, whether how, however weird it might seem. I'm gonna start recording now. It's picked up by both microphones. There'll be an audio spike, and you'll be able to sync that up later in the editor if you run into an issue where your main microphone was not picked up. That's also a very good technique to use if your audio is being recorded by a different source than your camera. So maybe you're recording using a, a real camera and not an iPhone like I use, and, uh, and you've got a separate audio source. Well, when you clap, like that, or maybe you can yell if you want, recording, uh, whatever you want to do. <laughs> There'll be a spike in the audio, and then you will know uh, uh, where to, to sync everything up. <laughs> and I might not have blew your eardrums off with my shouting there. Well, that's the tip for the day. Welcome to Get the Word Out. My name's Adam Markley. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, you've been watching Get the Word Out, I should say, helping you get the Word of God out to the masses. I help with the theology and practice of online ministry. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of all new videos when they come out. Now go ahead and watch this video right here because it's all about shorts. I tell you what would need to happen for me to go all in on shorts. And I'll see you over there.